Hey guys, welcome to Shadow Skull Studios. I'm Raven Wolf, and uh, today we're gonna be going over a deck list for a commander deck. Um, I'm gonna start doing some Halloween themed ones, so it's gonna be this one and next week's. And uh, for this one, it is me uh, horror dog themed. We do uh, Sorolf Realm Eater. Um, whenever a permanent from opponent control is put into a graveyard on the battlefield, put one counter on it. Begin your upkeep. If it has one or more counters on it, you may remove all of them. If you do, exile each other non-land permanent with preferred mana cost less than or equal to the number of counters removed this way. We are going to devour the world. We are going to eat everything. So, um, yep. Uh, going into it, guys. If you enjoy my content, please like and subscribe for more stuff in the future. And let's go through the rest of the deck. We have Guru Wild Speaker. Four mana, Planeswalker starts at three. Mostly is to untap the lands or to make it three three. Or to give, you know, all our creatures plus a three trample. Mostly for the untapped lands. Nissa Ascended Ascended Animist. Go ahead and switch printing to this one. Um, plus one is create an XX Frexian Horror creature where X is her loyalty. Destroy target, artifact, or enchantment. Until end of turn, creature you control get plus one, plus one, reach force control, and gain trample. Mostly it's for the plus one ability and the minus one for removal. We have Professor Onyx. She's going to be part of our win con. With the Magecraft, whenever you copy or cast into a sorcery spell, each opponent loses two, but gain two. Plus one, lose one life. Look at top three cards of your library, put one in your hand, the bottom rest in your order. That could help us. Uh, minus three, each point sacrifice creature with the greatest power. That could also help us. Minus eight, each point may discard a card. If they don't, they lose their life. Repeat this process six more times. So, essentially though, this is going to be part of one kind that I'll get to later. Ugin the Ineffable. Let's see for his plus one. Exile top card to the library face down. Look at it. Create a 2 2 colorless creature token. When that creature leaves the battlefield, or when that token leaves the battlefield, you put the exile card into your hand. This is to go with our commander because we're going to be making a bunch of a bunch of 2 2s that once we exile them, we get all those cards to our hand. And then we have the minus three uh, destroy target permanent. That's one more colors. Vraska Betrayal Sting. Let me go ahead and switch that to the English version. The zero is draw a card, lose one life, proliferate. Minus two, target creature, target, yeah, creature becomes a treasure, um, and loses all of the card types and abilities. And you have minus nine, where players fewer than nine poison counters, they get a number of poison counters equal to the difference. Um, that one doesn't matter. It's mostly going to be for the zero and the minus two. Braska Relic Seeker, plus two to make a two-two pirate with menace. Minus three, destroy target artifact creature enchantment, and we make a treasure token. And the minus ten, if we can get to it, mostly it's to make the pirates and have removal. Random Realm Breaker will mana fix us. We can turn lands into creatures. And mostly it's for the minus two, mill three cards. You may put a permanent card from uh, the mill cards into your hand. Minus seven, if we can get to it, you get an emblem. You may play lands and cast permanent spells from your graveyard. So mostly, a lot of the stuff is when our commander exiles things, we can get some form of value, or we have removal for commander. All right, for our creatures, we have Archfiend Depravity. At the beginning of each opponent's end step, the player chooses up to two creatures he or she controls, sacrifice the rest. Corpse Jack's Menace um, doubles the counters put on commander. Devoted Druid, if we can put counters on it later, but it's going to be a mana dork. The Dread Horde a Linworm, or Linnorm. Uh, mostly we do it for the adventure. Put two one more counters on our creature, untap it against Hexproof. So it can kind of board white for two or less. Druid Purification is multi targeted removal for our opponent's things. Eternal Witness is graveyard recursion. Forgotten Ancient will put those counters on our commander. Glissa Sunslayer is uh, basically it will kill creatures or it will be removal. 
and card advantage. Green Slime for a counter spell. It counters activated or triggered abilities of artifacts or enchantments and destroys them. Guardian Augmenter will give our commander hexproof. Murderous Riders, removal and lifelink. Opposition Agent for uh, stop opponents from searching. Freaka, God of Affliction, is graveyard hate from our opponents. Rotten Mouth Viper is uh, kind of a torment hellfire on a stick. Savala, Heart of the Wilds, is a mana dork. Shieldred is removal, and so is the other side. And Trastodon is also removal. That even if only one thing is a graveyard, we get rid of all the tokens. For sorceries, we have Casualties of War for a multi-target removal. Chain of Smog to go infinite with Professor Onyx. We have Culling Ritual for a board wipe that gives us mana. Demonic Tutor, search a library for one of the win cons pieces. Harmonize to draw three cards. And Guru's Wake for a one side board wipe. Killing Wave, because we want to kill every creature but our commander. Pick your poison um, is multi removal or multi optional removal. Season of Loss, also removal. Squirming of Emergence, Graveyard Recursion, and Torment of Hellfire for late game. For instance, we have Abrupt Decay for removal, Assassin's Trophy. Atomize, a beast within, a crumble, dark ritual for ramp, dismember, feign death to get our commander back, Golgari charm, heroic intervention for protection, noxious revival, petrify, shieldred's edict, smuggler's surprise, tamio safekeeping, tribute to the wild, undying malice, veil of summer, and Raska's fall. For artifacts, we have Champion's Helm, Protect Our Commander, Hammer of Nizam, Lightning Greaves, we have a Power Fist, Shallow Spear, and a Swiftwood Boot. For enchantments, we have Asceticism, Protect Our Commander, Binding of the Old Gods for removal, Hardened Scales to get more counters, Life Force is to counter the bla uh, black removal, Nowhere to Run for removal and it stops our opponent's Hexproof and Ward, and Eldest Reborn to hate on our opponents. For lands, I kept it pretty simple. We have Cabal Coffers, Castle Lockdown, Command Tower, Dark Board Pathway, or, uh, whoops, Slither Board Pathway, Dark Moss Bridge, Death Cap Glade, Exotic Orchard. We have Tin Forest, a hidden nursery to kind of cascade, uh, Mirix to make 1 1 to a Toxic, Rogue's Passage to make our commander unblockable. Ten Swamps, oh, Tainted Wood, Twilight Mire, and Orborg to go with Cabal Coffers. And altogether, the cheapest this deck is, bah, 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 is $473. So that's the cheapest Druid Purification. But uh, yeah, now let's go ahead and we're going to test it out. A little bit of a play test. Discard that. Draw for turn one. We're going to play a forest. Next turn. We'll do an exotic orchard. Next turn. Green. Cast a commander. Next turn. We'll say that we do a green. And then we could easily do... What would we... We'll do a crumble... And Abrupt Decay, which will, say, put two counters on our commander. Basically, turn five. On our upkeep, we're going to remove the counters. And we're going to exile all non-land permanents that are two or less, all our opponents' treasures, stuff like that. Um, what we could easily do for this one is we'll tap for Devoted Druid, and then we'll tap for a Pick Your Poison. Choosing for opponents to sacrifice either an artifact enchantment or a creature flying, say put one counter on our commander. Next turn, we're not going to remove the counter. 
basically we're going to be flattening out. We'll do, you know, Ren and Realm Breaker. And we say we'll do the minus two. So we mill three. Um, and we put a permanent card. Yep, we have to put permanent. So binding the old gods. Nah, I want the swamp. Swamp and ant. Because we can play it this turn. Then we'll do a swamp. And we'll go to our next turn. Then we'll demo tutor for something. Restart. This one's kind of hard because you really want to see it play against people. Not getting a lot of mana fiction here. You know what? That'll work. We'll draw for turn. Talk more bridge. Next turn. Play a swamp. Next turn. We'll play that cast commander. Next turn. Swamp. Three mana. We'll go to Swiftwood Boots. Put it on our commander. Uh, let's turn on turn. We'll kill something with this member. Paying the four life. Play a forest. We'll play Archery and Depravity. And say our opponents, they like say have like one creature, one extra creature each, or we'll say we get at least one more counter. On our upkeep, we'll remove the counters. Exiling everything that's two or less. Sorry, boots. It's exiled. Next turn. Um, we could also just do this. We'll do that. To pick your poison. It goes exile. Putting a counter on our commander. Swing. Um, what we could also do is culling ritual, blowing up all our opponents' smaller things. In our upkeep, we'll remove the counters, exiling everything. Restart. That's not good, man. What's with all these bad hands we've been getting lately? Really? I've never had this much trouble getting lands into a hand. You know what? We'll keep this one. We'll draw. We'll do Twilight Mire. Next turn, we'll do a Swamp. Next turn, boom. Commander. Next turn, I want to do Hardened Scales. And then we'll hold up. Say they kill our commander. Bring it back. Adding a counter, which gets two counters. On our upkeep, we're going to remove all counters. Exiling everything that's two or less. We'll cast Guardian Augmenter, give our commander a uh, hexproof. Next turn, we'll do a Cabal Coffers. And this time we'll do the Forgotten Ancient. That we'll see each opponent cast a spell. So I got three. On our upkeep, we, we're going to chain it. So Rolf is first, and then uh, Forgotten Ancient. That way it will put all three counters on Sorolf. Sorolf then goes to result. Of, we're going to reset counters, exiling everything that's three or less. Boom. And then we can do something like uh, we don't have anything in our graveyard. So we'll say we do like abrupt decay and pay the two life with dismember, put two counters on our commander. Swore red player cast a spell. Set counters two. And our upkeep will say two players cast spells. We'll do the chain trigger again. So we'll remove all four counters. On this roll, exiling everything that is six or less. Um, for this one, what I want to do is tap, and we'll tap for the two green. 
that. We're going to set load counters at two. We're going to mill three. And we get a one thing back. I'm going to get Savala. No, we're going to get that land. We're going to play that land. Because we need lands. Next turn, we'll do Tomb. And what we could easily do is tap two mana to make six black mana. And we'll tap one. We'll do Guru's Wake, blowing up all our opponent's things one sidedly. Commander gets big, swing with Commander. We'll do one more because this Commander is pretty straightforward. I don't want to keep that hand. Screw it, we're keeping a two lander. We're drawing for turn. I'm going to play a swamp. Next turn, Forest, Power Fist. Next turn, duh, duh, duh. we got to hold stuff together. Boom, Commander. Next turn, uh, I'll say that we want to equip to our Commander. We'll say we'll swing at somebody that doesn't have like creatures or doesn't want to block with them. Putting three counters on our commander. Upkeep. Remove everything. Next turn. Play that. Swing at an opponent. Next turn. Play a forest. Hammer is on. Onto our commander. Swinging with them. Hopefully making our commander block. Removing the one counter. Next turn. This is turn eight. We'll do... Uh, I can only do one thing. Because I only have one black mana. Could do Assassin's Trophy. All that type of stuff. You know what? Let's do one more. I'll keep this hand. We'll draw for turn. We're going to do Castle Lockwain and play Tapped. Next turn, Mire. Can't do anything. Next turn, we're going to do an Exotic Orchard, Cast Commander. Next turn, Command Tower. For this one, we're going to tap for a green for a pick your poison. And can't do that one. We'll say we'll hold up. We get a counter. And we'll say we use Rogue Intervention to save our commander at least once. Next turn, Forest. It's still five mana for her. That's kind of sad, really. Um, we could just do Lightning Greaves equip on our commander. Next turn, easily that will say we'll come in with Nissa. We'll minus one her, putting her at four. Killing something that puts a counter on our commander. Basically, we're going to get rid of all our opponent's lower combo pieces. Next turn. Uh, we'll do that. Do it again. Removing a loyalty counter to blow up something else. Putting a counter on our commander. Then we'll do like Ugin. We'll do the same thing. Get rid of something. Put a counter on our commander. And basically on our turn, we'll remove four, which will get rid of everything except our two Planeswalkers, which then we can start with Nyssa making that and with Ugin start making dudes. So that's the deck. Really, it's a wolf removal. It needs more card draw. I need to balance it out some more. But I hope you enjoy, guys. I hope you all have a happy Halloween. Bye-bye.